Well, folks, welcome back. The last match of the evening, and then play will resume at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Final match of the night. And our 10 o'clock slot is going to be Mike DeShane versus Luke Salvez, the speed pool champion. Don't blink. As you can see, he's just practicing right now. It's unbelievable how fast he shoots. Jerry says uh, half hour max. Well, <laughs> we'll soon see. Uh, we just want to remind you, this is a new item on board. It's uh, on advertised right there uh, as the easy bridge. Uh, slides on your finger, the bridge goes, uh, if you op use an open bridge, the shaft goes right between the second part of it. It actually looks like this in full. You can go right to Cousins Cues at AOL.com and find out more about this. Uh, X away, uh, prices, okay, or the availability. We want to give a big shout out to uh, Dan Hydrick of Hydric Custom Cues. Uh, Molinari Glove, Ira Lee. Make sure to go over to Molinari Glove and say thank you to all these sponsors that are on board. Uh, for all they do to keep uh, live streaming coming your way. Also, these gloves are reasonable, and I heard they're really great. I had the opportunity to have a couple of them in my hands uh, on location. Uh, Super Billies Expo, they were going out the door like wildfire, only to come back to New York City to do a stream, and, a, and cases were delivered uh, to Steinway Billiards. Uh, so that glove's... Uh, different i can tell you that much a lot of the players wear it and uh, yeah. uh, they they swear by it and we also want to remind you to check out accustats they will be bringing the pay-per-view live stream of the u.s open go to accustats.com pat fleming bringing up the helm of course with his right hand man jim fredericks old zilla curly and the rest of the crew if i forgot anybody levi uh, and it just goes on and on and on. His lovely girlfriend, of course, uh, and the whole crew going to bring a full production of the U.S. Open. Go over there and uh, get your early bird special. I don't know if they're up there yet, but uh, keep in touch with AccuStats.com. Also, check out iPlaypool.com. They're on board. And as you can see on the flyer on your monitor, uh, you can take lessons from the top pros, instructors, teaching people how to play pool, certain shots. You can find it right here on iPlaypool.com. We want to thank the entire cast. Jeanette Lee, the Black Widow Vice President. Jordan Gardenberg, President. iPlaypool.com. Just punch it in. Check it out. It's a great website. If you use the promo code that's in red there, uh, the promo code is TURN15, that's TURN15, you will get $35 off. Great website. Footage and top of footage on top of footage. We also want to remind you that we will be at Stooker's in Providence, Rhode Island, Labor Day weekend, September 5th through the 7th, to bring you the Eastern States Championship. I... I think I was corrected where instead of three tours coming together for this, it's two tours. It's MD Promotions and the Predator Tour coming together to bring you this great tournament. We live streamed it last year. They had a huge showing, and it's going to be huge this year also. Put it on your calendar. $11,000 added. Gotham City Billiard Club in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, 93 Avenue U in Brooklyn, New York. Kevin and Isabel Buckley putting up a large bounty of pure cash right there. 11000 added. October 17th through the 19th, we'll be bringing that live stream to you also. It's a pro event. Uh, the first 64 to get in. Uh, first 64 okay, paid to get in. Uh, and then it's closed, so... 
Check it out. Also, make sure to check out FAClothingCompany.com. Mr. Brian Russell, who is here on premises. 16 winners and 16 players will have one loss. Come back tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. And we will start. And Mr. Phil Capel, as you can see right there on your monitor. Numerous books, numerous books that Phil Capel has written. And of course, you can see Mr. Mike Massey, Dead Center. Uh, those books are available right at billiardspress.com or if you're on your way to the Turning Stone and you want to learn 30 or 25 years, like Mike Zuglin said, of experience by reading and learning, Phil Capel is a man to go to. He practically writes for a lot of people and for nothing. And this is a way that Upstate and AZB TV are trying to get Phil Capel some pocket change. So his books are available, billiardspress.com. November 1st through the 3rd, we'll be at Steinway Billiards to bring you the fourth annual Steinway Classic. Doesn't get any bigger than this, 128 players. It'll be a full field. You can bet on it. Warren Kiemko, Shane, you name it, Roberto Gomez, Dennis Okolo, uh, Archer, they'll all be there. Believe me, the room swamps and swamps with players. Darren Appleton, we hope he uh, uh, gets well real quick and uh, achieves what he wants to in the tournaments that he has in front of him. Uh, Rodney Morris, Jason Shore, it just goes on and on and on. It's scary. But right now, Mike Zuglin is making some announcements for the final matches of the evening. And uh, we're going to be joined in the booth by Mr. Jerry Forsythe's on board. Hey, Jerry. Hello, Al. Good to be back. This is going to be one heck of a match, and it's going to be fast. I put the word out there that you, you, you said about 30 minutes. <laughs> if, if, if the table breaks open and they don't have racking problems, it could be a 30-minute match. These guys are both quick. But Luke Salvis is unbelievable. Yeah, I was under the impression he only won the uh, competition twice. He verified it with us that he did win it three times. And this young lady right here on your screen, Diana Hoppy right there in front of you, she's got plenty of memorabilia. She's, she's been in the pool world God knows how long, has photos and, and signed, she has signed teeth. She has Earl Strickland's wisdom teeth signed by Earl. Does a lot for pool. Let's give her a little shake of the hand and go check out dianahoppy.com. She still has the Earl Strickland Road Stories DVDs available. Road Scholars. In fact, I talked to Danny DiLiberto talking about Road Scholars, and Danny reassured me that he will be here this weekend. I don't want to push it because he's uh, actually recovering, but he told me on the phone that he's coming. So. Uh, can I answer a question out of the chat? Sure. They're asking why didn't they let Josh Roberts play? I don't know. I know they had a whole lot of uh, people who couldn't get in. Forty-something people. Yeah. Hey, and Foxy Blue. Yeah, that's Jules. Yeah. That's Julie. Uh, besides that, I don't know if Josh was actually ready to play. One of the premier rooms in the United States has demoted the best room in the United States a couple of times. He drove all night, he drove the truck, and then uh, he did the setup. No, no, we're talking about Josh Roberts. Oh, 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 Josh Roberts, right, 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 right. Sorry. Yeah, Josh that. Ulrich is playing. Is Josh Roberts even here? I don't know. Well, you know, Mike Zuglin made the announcement at the players' meeting that he'll be taking entry, uh, entries for the next one coming up right after this tournament. <laughs> yeah. He takes them for three or four months in a row up till he's, until he's full, and he fills them quick. So any of you guys out there uh, want to come and play in this great event, get in touch with uh, Mike Zuglin right away at the uh, North uh, Josh Northeast Nine Ball Tour dot com website. Roberto Gomez being corrected because he was practicing. He really doesn't know he has to sit down during the announcements. He could forfeit one game, but Mike Zuglin going to give him a break. Yeah, I watched Gomez come in second at the World Nine Ball Championship in 2008, I believe it was. Came in second to Daryl Peach. 
There's a deck of cards behind you. Yeah. I want you to, when Roberto comes out of this match, we'll get him in the sit back here. We should be ended with this. And I, I want you to shuffle that deck and cut it and shuffle and cut it and then give it to him. And he's going to shuffle it a couple of times. And he's going to give it back to you. And you're going to open it up and fan it. And they're all going to be in order from ace, all the diamonds, all the hearts. Listen, he did it. He did it. Huh? He did it. <laughs> okay. Not two decks. <laughs> Pretty good magician. He was second in the China Open last month. Two time Turning Stone runner up right here, like I said. 2012, he won the Derby City Classic Bank Pool Championship. Plays all games well. He's just a young fella, and he's going to be one of the best by the time he gets done. Johnny Mora. Yes, he is, Johnny Mora. I think he's one of the best right now. Sure. On our tour, the Josh Worthy Nine Ball Tour, as I said, he has a second place finish here as well. Equally, another young gentleman is going to make his mark, Zion B. Yes, Zion. <laughs> yeah, Mike's got the record. <laughs> I think Mike won it three times. Maybe four. This is going to be fun. And I can hear the echoes coming out of Canada right now with the applause, Just sitting in the pubs and watching the live stream. Had a high finish in recent BCAA Bowl Open. He's a Rochester City Open champ, Don Millar, and his opponent. Foot a lag. He's from Elmira Nation. He's uh, won on our tour. He won the Northeast Nine Bowl Open Championship. And he's sponsored by Barry Moore Custom Cues and Universal Cuts. And Luke Salvis has won the lags, so and he'll be breaking us off. We're playing winner breaks, loser racks. Race to nine. You know, as Mike Zuglin's running around the, uh, the floor real quick, just let me mention, uh, of course, azbilliards.com is also sponsoring the Jazz Store. Billiards Press. Simonis, of course. Aramis. Josh Q's, OBQ's. Poolonthenet.com. Well, that four ball rolled up kind of ugly. That takes away the cut into the lower left corner pocket. Gonna have to reverse cut it into the right or play safe. Up here on 12, Hampton, Virginia. Decided to play safe, and he got there. Sponsored by Bathroom Buddy Belly Board, whatever that is. Watch out, though, he's kicking one rail, and the nine ball is sitting by the side pocket. I saw Michael 
actually win a tournament this way. He won the Ginky Memorial down in New York. Oh, he, can he was kick. playing Meeker in the finals. They were playing 10 ball, and the 10 ball was just where the 9 ball is, and Mike says, 10 ball in the corner because it's a cold shot, cold safety rule, and Mike was just on a roll. He was like a runaway freight train anyway through the whole game. Oh, he's going to try and mass A and hit that too. No, he kicked it. Regular here at Turning Stone plays on a Ridge Ridge Williams. Is that in Rochester? East Ridge Williams in Rochester. Paul Pennington and his opponent, just first time playing here at Turning Stone from Brooklyn, New York, plays on a Steinway Billiards in New York City. Well, we're going to have a safety battle to start us off, so this may take a bit longer than I had thought. Yeah, maybe one minute. Just about a minute more. That's about it. This table's getting uglier and uglier. Now, what Mike has sighted up is a carom off of the eight to send the two ball into the side. Towards the nine. Yeah. Yep. If it hits the end, bottom part of the nine, it'll go in the it'll side go in. pocket. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, he's got a couple of ways to make this ball. Oh. Didn't want to go. Anyone can participate in our raffle. You don't have to be present to win. The tickets are five dollars each three for ten or seven for twenty. Put your name and number on any ticket you purchase. As they said, you do not have to be present to win. So you're more than welcome to split your tickets up if you buy multiples and put them in bulk drawings. You can put both cues. And also, anyone in the drawing will become eligible to win the cue ball played in the final match. Got to put a nice draw on this to come back for that five. You know, it's amazing how fast he can line up his cue, do whatever he wants, draw, follow, whatever yep. he wants, stun it. But, you know, I don't think do. he got there. Oh, he's got the five. I don't think so. Really? I think he's got to go rail first. Yep. Oh, and he rocked the five ball, rocked just a, and went right, right back to that spot. Well, he can run the five down the side rail and put it in the side pocket off the nine. But there's a lot that could go wrong with that shot. He's going to stick the cue ball, probably. Stay right where the seven is. Oh, there's wow. a lot that could go right with that shot, too. <laughs> Mike DeShane takes the first track. Well, so much for an ugly table, leaving four balls on the table. <laughs> That's even got Mike grinning. Uh, kind of a two-way shot, huh? Either the five might have dropped or the nine go in. And the better of them both. Mike DeShane, one. And Luke, zero. Yeah, and Mike didn't mark his beat up. Yeah, he did. I'm just blind.
Jerry, you settling in for this one? Well, watching this rack battle. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable. Thank yeah. you. Mr. Foresight will be on these recordings. Very rare. He's always behind the scenes. I like to do that to people, especially the photographers. Jerry used to take so many pictures everywhere he went. And you always chase a photographer around because those are the people that don't get airtime. <laughs> this is going to be a little while here, Jerry. Mike's not going to settle for anything but... My wife and I were looking at some photos of vacations we've taken over the years. I'm not in one of them. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's exactly right. Uh, Mike DeShane leads one nothing. Rack number two. Nine, Nine ball. ball on the snap. Oh, Lu you got to be kidding me. Wow. How did that ball stay does up? He, does he run to the three? To the nine? Uh, One, two, three. He can three. bank. I don't know. Oh, but look at the trapper. Oh, boy. Trapper John M.D. Oh, boy. I think Mike's just going to elect to uh, just bank the cue ball into the short rail and pocket that nine. I, I don't see anything else he can do here. you got to try to pocket that nine ball. Yeah, it would be the smart thing to do. But then you're leaving an open table. Woof. Well, you know, the seven's in a little bit of a trouble. It's on, not on the rail, but it's close to the rail. And the six is on the opposite side. So Luke would have to go six, cross table seven, cross table to eight. Yeah. So a couple things uh, he can do. He can tie, if he can tie the three up in front of the one, right where he pointed the cue. Just go full kick right to the one ball. And if the cue ball deflects off the right side of that one, it's got a chance to billion into that corner pocket, believe it or not. Well, that'll be it for this rack. Wait, the five's going to come into play here. It doesn't matter. Oh, it did come into play big time. I don't know if I do this. When you can play the one and the two and then make it off the... Th oh, he could get past the five. Okay. One to one. All right. One, one. Guys out in the truck are a little bit slow at this time of the night. So give them a chance they'll get that score up for us. And there it is. One to one. And here it is. The Steinway Classic. The fourth hey, annual. We'll be streaming it. Top pros, I'm telling you. You name it, they're going to be there. Darren Appleton, Dennis Acolo, Mika, Earl, Jeremy, Mike DeShane. Ralph Suke, Rodney Morris, uh, everybody comes in for that. Uh, it's a packed house at Steinway. Put it on your calendar if you want to see some excellent pool. Sit ringside in, the, in a great pool room and have a five-course meal while you're at it. Well, he's made the seven ball, and he's got an open shot on the one. Now, getting back to the two is going to be tricky. Ball lying down there by the live stream news logo in the bottom left hand corner. Look at that beautiful stroke. I mean, he, it was like you know, hesitation then drew, or but uh, yeah, he don't have any window. Well, we knew that was going to be tough. <coughs> Might not paint. Did I don't know if you can see enough of that, too, to put it in the side or not. Hard to tell from our angle here.
really almost good. Like that safety. <laughs> Take that, Luke. That was a pretty safety. Well, that's not the shot you want to leave Mike to shame. We're just going to put a graphic up on the screen there. It's a player timeout, and we'll be right back. Hey, Ronnie, it's good to see you here, buddy. He was out in Vegas. Well, I mean in the chat room. Yeah. <laughs> Why is there a break after two games? Did somebody eat the fish? <laughs> You know, I think uh, Mike DeShane may be playing at a little bit slower speed to try and get Luke out of his rhythm. You know, the way it looks to me, he's just on the opposite side of the coin. It doesn't look like Mike has taken Luke that serious. You know, the way he shot that two ball towards the side pocket. He yeah, better take him serious. Yeah, he's got to take him serious, but, you know. Of course, Mike came along after Luke quit playing for so many years and he's he's never played him before but I'm sure he's heard of him and yeah, all the scores around the room are pretty tight except that uh, Justin Bergman is leading his match four to nothing over Petrov Mike Zuckerman is waving his left hand like a tra air traffic controller down the aisle. He's calling Mike the shame. I don't, I don't know what, what transpired there. Did anything transpire why Mike Zuckerman has to be? <laughs> I'm not sure what that was about. Uh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Oh, let me take this graphic off <laughs> in time. <laughs> oh, Mike just saved himself. And he, he looks like he's upset. So whatever it was, it was interesting. Not to me. I don't know what happened. I don't either.
Luke back into his machine gun style now. Yeah. Uzi. And Luke Salvas leads our match two to one, unless that cue ball just keeps rolling forever. <coughs> two one, folks. We want to remind you this is the last string match of the evening. We'll be back at 10 a.m. Well, no, be, pro no promises. No problem. We, at least at noon we'll be yeah, here. At least at noon, yes. I, I really got to get a little shut eye. That's the truth. Uh, but why uh, you never do? Yeah, that's what they say. You know, people think I'm up posting all night long. My son's doing it. My other son does it when he's sleeping, and you know, watch the nine towards the left-hand corner. Gets kicked by the. Well, it's a hockey game. Oh, there's not much he can do with this ball. Rollout called. I imagine Mike's going to give that one back to him. Unless he likes his chances of hiding down there behind the three and six. He's taking it on. Yeah, he's trying to get behind the three. Great job. Good Full call. ball block. Good call. <laughs> nice save time. Good hit. And that's all he gets. Well, you got a little reward there. You didn't really leave much. No, he didn't leave a big piece of candy out there or anything. Big window. If you had to pick any two players in this tournament who I did not think would get into a big safety war rack after rack, these are the two. <laughs> Both extremely aggressive players. Cue ball frozen to the rail is not going to help any. But you could elect to take a swing at it. Good shot. You see that safety all the time where you make the cue ball and the object ball sit on opposite sides of the table. A mouse trap. That's a good one to practice. <laughs> well, Luke has a shot this time. And didn't take any time. Never does. Every time I see Luke play, I think he's late for dinner. That's going to hurt a little. Not that it's not doable, but oh, wow. It's going back to the other side of the table. <laughs> that ball went in the pocket, around the inside of the pocket, and came back out. Well, he's got a good roll out of it. stuff right there. He kept the angle to the short side of the cushion there. S somebody call a referee. He better be watching the hit because Luke hits him hard. Oh, that was a good hit. No doubt about it. Right. Well, you know something, even though they're playing safeties, the score is 2-1. to one. Do we have any other scores close to this? Oh, yeah. Uh, Bergman's up 5-1. to one. Whoops. Once again, the air conditioner effect. The cloth is 
real cold. The cushions get cold and they get boingy. 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 Yeah. Another near nine foot safety. Today's Thursday, right? Last I checked. No, that's not going to be good. Uh, he hung it right in the drawers there. One rail bounced back out for the five down the bottom left hand corner. The rest is history. Mike was at the BCA trade show a couple of weeks ago, entertaining folks in the OBQ's booth. He's sp sponsored by OB. So, we are tied at two now. Introducing Lucasi Hybrid, a whole new level of performance and technology. A cue with a revolutionary X-Shock dampening system, eliminating vibration. G5 grip technology for enhanced traction and stability results in maximum cue control. Total sweet spot construction means unmatched power. And the zero flex point ferrule provides dead on accuracy, giving you the confidence you need in every shot. Lucasi Hybrid, the only cue that matters. The owner of Diamond Tables, Greg Sullivan, is in the room. Greg Sullivan's in the booth with us. Greg, good to see you, man. We should put on a headset and join the conversation. We're going to push it on, Greg. This this gentleman's got an IQ of 160 and above. We're not going to ask you anything tough. We can't. Believe me, we can't. And I All think right. you're on. Are your, you mic, on? your mic is live. It sounds like an echo chamber. <laughs> <laughs> So I haven't seen you at Turning Stone before. Oh, I've been here a bunch of times, but Have it's you? been a couple of years, yeah. There's the owner of Diamond Tables right there, folks. He's the guy who makes them. Mr. Greg Sullivan, you're doing good. Look at me. I got a bigger investment than you do. Don't you worry about it. I don't <laughs> want to be on TV. All Come right. on, cut me off. <laughs> <laughs> you and Jerry got something in common. He says the same thing. 
No, if you got any questions, I'll be glad to answer them if I can on anything. Well, I'm sure we'll come up with some. Okay. Well, what do you think about this match between Mike and Luke? I just walked down. It uh, should be pretty interesting. Scores 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. Right here on the scoreboard. Yeah. And Jerry said it was going to end a half hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, it didn't just start, eh? Half hour ago. <laughs> half, hour. half hour ago. Who's playing slow? Neither one. Neither one. They're, 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 they're the tables are not breaking open, so they're getting into little safety battles that take time. Good. So Mike's break doesn't dominate here. Is he breaking real hard? Oh, yeah. He's slamming them. <laughs> I want to see it. When does he not break hard? I don't know. He hit the fastest break I've ever seen. And it was timed by uh, two radar guns and one of those uh, apps that you put on your cell phone. And 30. they all said the same thing, 38 miles an hour. 38? Yeah. Wow. 38. That's sick. Now, of course, he would never hit it that hard in a match. But um, it, he strings them out around 30 in a match. That's crazy. It is crazy. I don't see how anybody can move their arm that fast. And control. Control is the key. I remember when uh, 23, 24 miles an hour was a real hard break. That's true. I remember when the uh, Sardo rack, remember they used to have the competition. Oh, gosh. And I remember yes. Boosty doing 34. I think it was 32 or 34, if I'm not mistaken. I better not get relaxed. I got to worry what I say. I don't want to say anything bad. <laughs> hey, no. this isn't TV, man. No, it's you're cable. Not, you're not you even, do, you you're not you even live. Don't worry. We just threw a headset on you. Yeah, right. All right. Yeah. You can turn anything. If I say the wrong thing, you can get rid of it, right? Yeah, oh, we, yeah. We okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. You, you just tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mike DeShane just put a scratch in the pocket. And uh -oh. Luke will take quick work of this table. He does shoot pretty fast, doesn't he? Oh, Still. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I used to love to watch his matches because they never took long. And I don't think there's anybody in the game I haven't seen him beat at one time or another. No, he can. He, he can, can keep, solid play. He can keep you in the chair. I just came down. I don't even know who all is here, the top players and stuff. Well, just about everybody you can think of. Really. Well, you know what? Somebody sent the... Uh, message into the booth or they said something in the chat like Derby City was going to be moved to Florida. You're I, moving to Florida? No. I can't believe the yeah. rumors that come out about uh, we're closing, we're doing this, we're doing that. If you want to know, we've got a contract through 17 right now, 2017, so we're good to then. And we're negotiating right now for five more years. Good. And we'll see, we'll see how it goes. We got it. We worried about the gambling so much before. Yeah, I think we're okay with that right now. We had a really good gamble. I mean, because it's not illegal. Right. We got them knowing what's going on, and the players are managing, not you know, not side betting and, and scaring everybody off. But anyway, there was a lot of gambling there last year. It was enjoyable. For yes, me. there was. And I like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's. I mean, I don't want to say anything. The only I don't like this. The event being closed down, I understand. But after the matches are over, there's nothing to do. Right. Except me go off playing cards. <laughs> <laughs> well, the casino enjoys that. Yeah, I know. I understand. I just wish there was a little nighttime action going on here. I was out in Vegas a couple of weeks ago, and uh, there's a pool room out there called Good Times. I know I was out there for that Scott Frost. And yeah, they were playing for hundreds of thousands of dollars. The one guy didn't get paid, did he? No, I don't, that Bartram, I don't know. Bartram, did you hear I heard that? Bartram gets the only paid half of what it's supposed to be or something to that nature. Oh, I hope he gets his money. I just read that on AZ. Yeah. Or maybe he did get stiff for the 90, right? Are we talking about the 90? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I can't see Dippy Dave stiffing anybody. But Dippy Dave has to give the nod when he gives those <laughs> chips out to you. You can't, as far as I understand, you can't just go up to the cage and cash them in unless Dippy Dave's with you. They got their own chips. Really? They give you the nod to, to, to cash them for them. 
Really? Wow. Yeah. Pretty strong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess. I guess. But you can know, you, how can you have your own chips? Because you could walk. You could have those made yourself and walk in with. Yeah, them. you're not gonna have them made yourself. You know, when you're that kind of player. I guess you gotta post cash. Yeah, somewhere. markers somewhere. But I don't know, you know, there's always things going around said and rumors get to be mountains and Yeah, the rumors on everything. I like just you take, said. Yeah. But anyway, the Derby City's good. Good. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're gonna be tied at three. These boys are gonna keep it close for us. It will be the last match too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the last match always goes double hill. Sure does. <laughs> 33 folks anyway. And uh, if you're going to come down to the Turning Stone Casino right here in Verona, New York, I'll tell you what, you're going to really need a jacket. The air condition is really blowing in here, so <laughs> bring a throw blanket or something. But on the other hand, the talent and world champions that are here in one arena uh, are approachable. There is posters that are given away up at the front desk where you can have autographed by the players. Uh, there's dining uh, that's uh, of all kind of caliber downstairs, from uh, whale to swordfish. Uh, no, I'm only exaggerating, but I mean, there's exquisite food downstairs. And th this is the perfect arena. It's free to enter, uh, to be a spectator. And you, you this is the talent in your backyard. So if you're within reasonable distance, come on by and sweat the action. And we use the word sweat <laughs> in uh, pool term is just watch the action. So to say, watch the pool matches. And come by the booth and say hello and step in and meet some of us down here and say a few words to your folks at home. And we do have headsets available. Can I ask questions like, how many people do you think are, are on this now listening? Is there a number? There's a way that Al can find that out, I bet you. Is this, is this free for everybody? Yeah. It's free stream. Yeah. I think that's beautiful being free. There's 620 watching at the moment. That we know of. Uh, that are could, chatting. It could be more. One of our moderators will actually look at the bottom of the video and put it in the, the chat. Sometimes Ustream's platform. I mean, as nice as this place is and everything, I don't see why it's not full all the we, way. we got a question for you. Will, oh, the, okay. will the Honduran Rosewood... Dino, Dina Wood be available again soon. Right. Diamond Wood. Here's where we're at. Uh, there's a new company that uses Diamond Wood, a whole lot of it, for gun stocks. Right. Okay. And knife handles. And knife handles and yo yos <coughs> and all that stuff. All right. Chad, who runs my company, just talked to, the, to them and they're, they've got, they're, they're making Diamond Wood now. But there's new presses that they have to have for, for big enough parts to make a pool table. All right. The press is about completed. I expect to have it. I, I really expected to have it a month or two ago. But it's coming real soon. So diamond wood is back, basically. But the replacement material you had, what's it called, PRC? It's very good. It's very it's good. It's more expensive than the regular diamond wood. And it's just as good. But the looks are so good. I like the diamond wood, too. Different. Yeah. I, mean, I, I like, like that table you had down in Super Bowl. It's like that maple. I think you had a curly maple table or something down there, didn't you? Yeah, that, well. Man, that was a pretty little yeah, table they got there. Curly. Matching light above it. Right. I kind of like the black. That, that looks like it's a black and gray, even though I'm colorblind. So I, oh, the ones that are here, you don't know they're black and gray? No, I know they're black. Oh, okay. That's not a color. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you guys would get on me. <laughs> no, you got on yourself. Uh, that's the truth. Oh, oh it that's funny. But it is coming back. It looks like Mike's going to hit and stick right here. Mike sure didn't want that last ball to fall. He can put the cue ball right there where the three is and just bank the three. It's not me that's buying the press. It's, uh, I can't think of the number, name of that company. Altamont. Yeah, Altamont. That's the people that, that use more diamond wood than we do in all their gun stocks and all their stuff. But anyway, we needed a bigger size. And it's coming, and uh, they, they've already got the presses being made now. It's just them to, I don't run their company. And we're ready for it. We're behind. Matter of fact, we're behind on tables right now. I apologize to people. Uh, that's a good problem, but 
We're selling a lot of tables. I guess as soon as I retired and got out of the plant, they can get something done. <laughs> but it, sales are going good now. Yeah, great. Knock on wood. You know, I don't think you're ever going to retire. I am going to get out of the work work. <laughs> the work work, yeah. Day-to-day -day operations I can't handle. Hiring and firing people and ordering stuff. Whew, that's work. And pressure. Nice shot, Mr. DeShane. Okay, 831 viewers. See that? That's platform. cool. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. Thank you, Foxy. Foxy Blues out of Nebraska. Cool. Wait until Saturday and Sunday. The numbers go way up. You're going to be here the whole time? i got a plane ticket I can leave any day I want. I took Paul back today. You, you drove all the way back to no. Syracuse to Albany? I had to Albany. I drove him back, and he got on a plane. Oh. And I just came up here to check the leveling, make sure that's going on, and we're working on training a few people on how to level with their new leveling system. And uh, leveling is very important to me. If you see any balls roll off, holler at me. Well, you know what I did? <laughs> I haven't this seen one yet. That's good. <laughs> what I did this year was I promoted this, and I called it when I was going to arrive. You know, I arrived the day earlier, so I called it the Turning Stone, the setup, sort of like the Sting, yeah. where they made the little sequels. And I had the cameras on to test all the equipment, and I actually had the viewers in here, about 65, maybe to 80 viewers, uh, because it really wasn't nothing to watch but Paul and, and Josh running around. Yeah. Luke, Luke Salvas has taken that rack and now leads us four to three. And uh, I was explaining to him, I said, take a good look at how many levels are on that table. I think there's 28. I mean, it was just incredible how Paul yeah. was going from one table to another. And then now after that sequence... Rigo, diamond by diamond, right, all around the table with one level, and then the middles, and you know, to adjust the slate in the middle. It was just uh, unbelievable, and I think a lot of the folks that tuned in for that really enjoyed that. You know, to see the quality and the workmanship that goes in, and they know the workmanship probably that goes into the table because we had Paul in here and he was explaining the CC machine and mm -hmm. how things are cut out, but. We're not talking about the workmanship of the table itself, which is really nice, but the workmanship that goes in to the diamond company coming in and installing them in your event, you know, and taking that extra five hours or four hours, whatever it might be, six hours, I know it's more, just to make sure that everything is up to par and professional. This is the easiest event we have in the country to set up. We got a crew, we've been doing this for quite a while, but a crew, Mike's people or whatever, they help us set this up. Did you take notice of how long it took to set these tables up? They no. were here when I got here. I got here at 11 o'clock in the morning or 11.30, and they were already up. Yeah. Approximately two hours. Can you imagine what this one-piece slate has done? It's made us be able to do tournaments where we normally couldn't. Right. Absolutely. And the time schedule, sure. Oh, the time I mean, schedule. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the one-piece slates really changed some things. Right. Mike's got ball in hand. <clears throat> We're supposed to be talking about the match. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. So how much does a one-piece slate weigh? Is it a 10-foot? No, nine foot? Nine, foot, <laughs> nine foot. Mm. Roughly. I guess 800, <whistles> seven, 800. He's going to attempt to That's pocket a, this. That is a little. Now we uh, know how hard it is just to make this a ball is, in the This side is pocket. tough. Oh, he's going to take a whack at it because, you know, you can get lucky on him in this tournament, too. He tried it. He actually tried to pocket that night. Yeah, but it didn't work on either end. He didn't get a safety either. And did he try to just, just do that because he's trailing by one game? Mike the is down. I'm surprised three. he would do that because he had the run out in front of him. And Luke just gets up there and swings and pockets it that quick. I broke out those balls. I got a good roll out of that one. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I don't want to take too much of your time here, but if anybody does have any questions they would like to ask, I like to answer questions. Well, Maybe I'll come in later in the week. Well, let me let me look at the. I mean, uh, they can put them on any time, and I'll be glad to try to answer them as best I can. There's okay. a lot of information I'd like to get out there to to everybody, but I don't want to mess up. You're all talking. Oh, you do whatever you want to do, Greg. Uh, we can we can handle the other end of it. Well, there's a whole lot of misinformation out there I'd like to try to straighten up as well, best you, I can. You go right ahead. But I want it in the form of me answering questions because I'm not trying to run my mouth all the time. But I'd like to answer some questions. You got the green light. Well, I'll be back uh, later in the week and try to answer some of the questions. If you see me, just grab me. Well, no, you don't expect me to write the questions down, do you? No, aren't they on, aren't they on this thing here? <laughs> yeah, but uh, we're, we're not copying and pasting them anymore. Oh, you're not copying no, no. Okay, we do have a question there. Greg, any chance for a second derby at another locale? Like uh, Tunica, you mean? All right. I tried Tunica. It didn't work out. I was trying to work with Harris or whatever. But we just were working real hard on Atlantic City. They flew me up there, and I got to check a location out. That's the best location I've ever seen for pool. I mean, it's got 100,000 square feet. Whew. But uh, they're putting me under some strict guidelines. I got to guarantee 6,000 room nights, and I got to do this, and I got to do that. I need to work with a, a league. I can, I've got to do side-by-side -side tournaments to mm -hmm. make something like that happen. There's not enough quote, pro players right. uh, to fill, fill 6,000 room nights. Absolutely. I've talked with uh, the APA, and they've talked interest, but nothing's been signed yet. We're looking for, like, next November, hopefully. Look at this roll Luke just got. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'll tell you what. I wish you a lot of luck with that. I think it's a move in the right direction. Another guy asked if you're still making the 10-foot tables. Now, I know you are. Yeah, we are. But to really sell them and make it be what it, I want it to be, we have to have more tournaments. I mean, you got to have a reason to buy a 10-foot table. Right. I mean, I've got my own beliefs. And there's a lot of people out there that won't agree with what I what I think. But I think we've got to find some way to separate the amateurs from the pros. The, these pros have gotten so good that uh, – they're ready to go back to a, I believe, a 10-foot table. I agree with you. Luke Salvas has taken the first two-game lead of our match so far. He now leads 5-3 to three in our race tonight. Yeah. My goal is to get four Derby City-like tournaments. Here, here's what people talk about. Why can't you get some corporate sponsor to come in and add some money? I got to talk to some corporate sponsors, and what they told me was, well, Mr. Sullivan, I don't care how big you get this Derby City to be. I don't care if it's a million-dollar event. We're not interested. I said, well, what do you guys want? And they said, well, you're going to have to do you have a TV package with it, and you're going to have to have at least four events before we even look at a proposal. You can have a season for pool or at least four events, and then we're interested, at least we'll look at a package. So my goal was to work with Harris and get four tournaments. And the Tunica event uh, was my second event trying to do because that's what Harris, that's what they gave me. They wanted a, a, me to build their businesses. But what, what actually happened, I, I got some bad luck in Tunica. I guess you, I'm not going to blame it on bonus ball and go through all that, but it came at a, at a bad time. It did. And we didn't do the, the numbers that, that they wanted to see. But I got a second chance of getting another Harris property in Atlantic City. And we could have had it this year if I would have guaranteed 6,000 room nights and stuff. But, but the amount of money I had to guarantee was more than I could handle without an amateur league or Right, you're going to you're gonna, you're gonna have to pull not only one league, you might have to pull two or three leagues together. Yeah. Now, the APA uh, definitely can cover, but it uh, would have to be enormous. I mean, it would have, they would have to come from all over the country. Yeah, yeah. I, I wish they would get behind this. I don't want to say anything bad to make any of it, but the APA has the ability to really get pro pool going. You can't make pool go with just the pros right now. I mean, there's just not enough numbers to right for the vendors or for anybody. Right. I mean, 
But yeah, you, you gotta have, have the multitude you of You have people. to do side by side tournaments. And to add something else, I, at every event that I do, like the Derby City, I'm gonna have a 10 ball tournament, a big foot. A 10 foot I, tournament. I, I yeah. believe, I really believe in the future, all games are better to me. You know, bank pool, I've seen them run seven balls on, on the bank, on the 10 foots. It separates the men from the boys. Not just smaller pockets, you know what I mean? Like they're doing a Chinese eight ball. Well, it's also a good table to have in the, in a local pool room or in your own home. Uh, if you're uh, an up and coming pool player or just, you know, you, you really love the game to practice on. Uh, it does. Yeah, it does help you to practice. But uh, I don't believe I can sell 10 or 20 10 foot tables to a pool room. That's not my goal. My goal is I want one or two in a, in a, in a big pool room. Hey, guys, Luke's got ball in hand again with three balls on the table. He's getting ready to jump out to a 6-3 lead here. Oh, my God. Yeah, I've been paying attention here. I apologize. I haven't been. No, that's good. No, no, you're no, fine. No, no. You're fine. We, we enjoy, people want to hear what you have to say. Yeah, but they're here to watch a pool match. I hope I'm not missing it. Well, up. they can still watch. Okay. Uh, they're probably uh, finding uh, out a lot of information that they didn't know. 6-3 to three uh, now, Luke Salvas. Coming straight from uh, – Greg Sullivan, I'm sorry. Tell the truck to change the score, would you? Yes, guys out in the truck, you're still awake. This is the last match, and they're dozing off back there. It is six to three. Mr. Foresight has it right. And there it is. I'll tell you what, I'm going to give him my phone number. You know, you, uh, if you don't mind. Go ahead. My phone, personal phone number is 812-989-6665. If you've got any questions. 812 812- Nine eight nine. Nine eight nine. Six 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 five. Six 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 five. And I'd be glad to answer them, whether it's just me and you talking, or is know, it I or you want me answered online? I don't care. Is that L I V A N? S U L L I V A N. There it is, folks. So it's in the chat room. I'll be glad to answer what I can. <laughs> Again, back to those the ten footers. Um, and, you know, you mentioned something like separates the uh, men from the boys. There's uh, the 10 footer in, uh, as you know, in uh, Gotham City Billiard Club. And besides the 10 footer, they have 15 pro cut diamond tables in there. The players that are coming out of there, even though they're amateurs, but that's their homeroom, are coming out of there like they like you're, like you're coming out of an advanced school. I don't mean to interrupt, but no, Mike, that's good. Mike DeShane couldn't buy a roll in a bakery right now. Oh God, oh, that's he just scratched. He's gonna have people calling in. <laughs> and Greg's oh. got a call. We can hook that up to the soundboard. No, and, uh, we can. <laughs> Greg, who designed the smart table? I can answer that one. Greg designed the smart table, and it was. A real challenge to find a um, a light that could penetrate the balls and tell them apart. Took I, you a while to find that. I yes, wish they did. had your seven footers here in Vegas for this uh, this event. I don't know who this phone call is from. I'm not going to answer it here online. I don't no, know. that's fine. Oh yes, I am. I'll go over here in the corner and answer it. Oh. Let me get out of your all's hair. Okay. Well, do come back. Yes, please come back, Greg. Right. You're still on, Jerry? Okay, I, I'm Yeah, okay. yeah, I'm still on. Well, somebody called in right away. Yeah. Would you know it? And these tournament tables are on sale. I don't know the price. But you've got Greg's phone number. You can find out if you're interested. But it's less than retail. And these tables are great. Not only that, uh, I believe when they do sell them, if you want them autographed by, like, the majority of the pros, if not, you know, every one of the pros that are left, they'll sign them with the... Uh, yeah, if they know about it in time. Right, yeah, right. They'll sign the sides, the skirts. Yeah. <clears throat> that reminds me, I was at the... U.S. Open one year when a fellow bought a table off the floor and the players were going to sign the skirts and he said, no, 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 sign the cloth for me. So they all signed the cloth and then he found out that 
They've got to tear that cloth off and give him new cloth when they install it in his house. You can't put the same cloth back on the table. <laughs> well, he's got a souvenir. Yeah. That was back when we were using three-piece slate tables at the open. We've been on this one-piece slate now for years and years and years. Well, the chain's going to draw a bead back closer. Indeed he does, and now he trails by two, six to four. Introducing Lucasi Hybrid, a whole new level of performance and technology. A cue with the revolutionary X-Shocks dampening system, eliminating vibration. G5 grip technology for enhanced traction and stability results in maximum cue control. Total sweet spot construction means unmatched power. And the zero flex point ferrule provides dead on accuracy, giving you the confidence you need in every shot. Lucasi Hybrid, the only Bergman cue. just finished his match, nine to two. Nice victory there. What was that, Jerry? We had that commercial running for Lucasi. Uh, Justin oh. Bergman finished his match. Yeah, he won nine to two. Against Petrov, right? Yeah. Don't ever count Mr. Deshane out of the game. He's never out. Oh, Tony, Iggy, upstate, I'll see you in the morning before first batch. Hey, don't be waking me up early, pal. If it's that early, don't wake me up. I, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, the God's honest truth, I didn't get a touch of sleep for the entire time. I got your message, Iggy. Okay. Wow. Clayton Roca beat Mr. Goulding 9-0. to zero. You know, I was talking to Steve. Uh, he's the owner of uh, Snooker's mm -hmm. Pool Room in Providence. Yeah. And he says, Al, I got no shot. He said, you know, it's just fun for me. Because that's why I do it. And I said, well, as long as it's fun and you have fun, do it. And he enjoys it. And he plays in the tournaments up in his room, too, like the Ocean State. Yeah. Just to get involved. Interior decorated by trade, him and his wife. Beautiful pool room. Regina Goulding. Yeah, Deshane is about to get us back within one. How's the angle? He might have to really punch this forward. Uh, he's going to no. draw to the short side of this nine ball. Yeah. Be careful. Or hit the nine. He could scratch. Oh, yeah. oh he miscued. Sure did. That he did. But this is a shot Deshane can put in the bank just about every time. That he did. Another deposit. Go Within ahead. one, it's six to five, and he's breaking. Scott Frost chilling downstairs watching the game here. It looks like he's watching Roberto Gomez uh, down the way a little bit. Can't get him on cam. He's standing right underneath the robotic.
Dennis Orcolo is also having a good evening. He's leading his match eight to one in a race to nine. Hunter Who's Lombardo he? is leading his match eight to two. Who's Dennis playing? Uh, don't know the first name and the initial is D. Last name is Brown. Okay. Don't know him either. Well, we're back to the rack attack. And here we go. Mike says that's good enough. Let's bust them. I'll trust them. Here we go. Watch the wing ball seven. Right, right in the hole. So did the one. One slid right in the side. Just a couple. He's going to make a few balls on that <laughs> break, isn't he? Well, only six balls on the table, but the first shot is a toughie. Mike looking at the carom into the nine, but he's going to have to go rail first. You don't want to square hit it if you're going to go for it, and yet. Well, he's got to worry about making the two in the corner first, and then if the carom comes, that's a nice little bonus, but I sure wouldn't try to count on that here. Well, here we go. He's going to try to cut it right in. Now the wide open table exchanges hands. And yeah, Luke, but Luke has still, a shot. Well, still, a cut shot right into the side. Yeah, it's not an easy cut though. Banking into the three. No, he's playing safe, smart. I never like leaving the next object ball in rotation around that money ball. Yeah, bad things can happen. And you don't have to call the nine. If, if you had to call it. It would be different, but you don't have to call it so if your opponent just jacks up and gives it a whack. Goes in any pocket. Oh, Mr. Brown's first name is Doug. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for that. <coughs> and he's from Canada, so he can definitely play. I haven't seen a Canadian okay. yet that can't. Doug Brown from Canada. <laughs> Who is that? I man R and B. Nice shot, and that should finish this table up. Everything else has got plenty of open holes to fall into. Jerry, your half hour is already an hour. Oh, I know. I'm really surprised it's taking this long. Well, the score is nip and tuck right now. Yeah. Although Luke's getting ready to put some pretty good room between them, seven to five, and a race to nine. I bet he does. You see him fist pump. A lot of Canadians saying, come on, Luke. Um, I'm glad to see the turnout. I think this weekend is going to be a blast, Jerry. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. It always is up here. Uh, someone's what? asking if I'll be doing commentary at the Moscone Cup. Yes, I will. New location this year, the Tropicana in Las Vegas. It's been totally uh, rebuilt. They did a gut job on it. Well, just a drop in the bucket. Ooh, a you scratch on the break. We'll Give Mr. DeShane a ray of hope here. More than a ray. Do you take it? Do I take it? <laughs> yeah, I think I'd take it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. No, what I meant by do you take it, uh, Mike was looking down at the 1 9, but the, the nine's just too far away from the pocket, I think, to attempt that. He might, though. He's, he's contemplating on it quickly changes his mind. Cue ball on a string. Golly, he can work that ball. 
He is beautiful to watch. Iggy, if you're going to wake me up in the morning, have some. Uh, Thank you there, Bada Bing. Appreciate that. Uh, ham steak. I'll have a honey glazed ham steak Ugh. in the morning. Hi, Jerry. He lost 60 pounds. He, now he says, Ugh. Well, I mean, I like ham, but to, why, why ruin it with honey? He used to graze out in the field. Now all of a sudden, yuck. Well, I had some at. Uh, where was it? Yeah. One of those places. <laughs> One of those places. <laughs> One of those honey ham places. Oh, I know. It's like, I was. you know, it's really. I was at the Golden Corral. That's you know, where I was. You, you know, it's really bad. Flavored bacon, like applewood smoked bacon and stuff like that. Oh. Leave the food alone. Just cook it and eat it. I'm starving. We'll get out of here soon enough. Mike Deshane doing his thing. He's looking to tie this up. Well, will, he's not tied up. He's will, looking to pull will, within one. Will the seven go behind, beside? Uh, <laughs> new lips, new lips. Will the seven pass the nine, or is he going to be forced into a combo here? I will check my email, uh, Mr. Ron Mason. I will do that. Combination. That'll work. And that brings us back. To a one game margin at seven to six. <laughs> Luke's trying to give Mike a good rack that he won't argue about. And Mike's found something that he doesn't like. Ooh, I wouldn't let a player do that. I tell you what, as soon as my opponent touches a ball, I'm going to throw the rack right back around that rack and re-rack them. Ron, I'll uh, get into this email at, uh, uh, later on tonight or possibly tomorrow. Right now, I got too much on my plate actually to handle that. Uh, I, I'm reading just briefly through the well, conversation. We have an open table. And Mike DeShane has a good opportunity here to tie the match. And a race to two. Ooh, that gets nervous. Oh, yeah. Tomato Tom's talking about maple-flavored bacon. That is, I mean, why would you want sweet bacon? I just want three pounds of bacon. Yeah, I, I can eat bacon any time. I've uh, never met a hog I didn't like. Oh, Mike. Wow. I have never seen DeShane miss that shot. I didn't miss a, a bead, right? It's still 7-6. Yeah, still 7-6. What a critical time for that to happen. You're not kidding. This is a big game. But, you know, Luke's in a predicament here, too. He can't just, uh, I don't think he can actually cut this ball. And hey, up the he's at the table, and he didn't expect to be at the table. Yeah, but I don't. he's looking to make this in that upper right-hand corner. I don't think. Oh, uh, I, I don't see, I don't see why he'd do that when he can bank it away. And play stay. And play behind the eight, yeah. There you go. I like that better. Now it puts the double heat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. The chat room gets crazy, doesn't it? I see you in the chat, Ron. I see what you're doing there. Oh. Ron Mason right there in the chat, folks, is uh, Gotham City Technologies, the owner, and uh, not only builds your website, he hosts your website. Uh, also, fix <laughs> also fixes any device just about. Uh, so don't take that expensive device that you have and just toss it thinking it don't work. Get in touch with GothamCityTechnologies.com.
that's Ron Mason in the chat right there. And you don't have to call and talk to five different people. Uh, the best IT guy to go to right there in the chat. Salvis is on the hill. Ron Mason says you can pay him in bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Heck, you can pay me in bacon. my son created and it's called Upstate Island Friends it's all gonna just be pictures and uh, I guess whatnots from the events that uh, we stream and all it is a like page you just go over there and hit this little thumbs up thing a like thing on Facebook a lot of people have been hitting it and we appreciate it Sonny the speedy player is Luke Salvis out of Canada Oh, Sonny. Sonny won. Yeah. Sonny won? Yeah. Haven't seen that name in a, a dog's life. I haven't you seen must know some short-living dogs. Well, it's been a while. I know she disappeared. She didn't really come around much. Unless she flew in and, in and out of the chat, and I didn't notice. I didn't know there was such a thing as bacon potatoes bacon flavored potato crisp but it sure sounds good we're back to the check I mean we were back to the uh, rock attack he's saying there's a crack there and Luke says there's not watch <coughs> people yeah, I'm will. not worried about this too much. I'm worried about this building on it. Well, they asked Scott Frost to come up and take a look at the rack and see if there's any spaces in there. And Scott Frost said, I don't want to get involved. He says, I'll get a referee for you. And here comes Mr. Tetro. Yeah, excellent. Mr. Player. Tetro can certainly judge whether it's a good rack. This happened to me when I was referee in a three-cushion world tournament. Yeah. And we had to get a lens this big. Well, they had to. I said they weren't frozen. And Bloom Dahl said they were frozen. <laughs> and they got the lens in the way they weren't frozen. Thank God I got lucky. <laughs> That's how close it was. But nevertheless, he ran a seven off of that anyway. <laughs> Who did, Bloomdale? Yeah, he did. That's, that's low for Bloomdale. Yeah, you're yeah. not kidding. <laughs> but in a position where those two balls were almost jammed up against each other, it was kind of hard just to get a one out of it. There's absolutely no rack in your own, Mike said at the meeting. You can't right. rack your own. Right. So you're. As hard as Luke hits him, it doesn't really matter. Well. I mean, it does if you're trying to play a shot off of it. But I hope you guys are getting an earful of this. Uh, because uh, after we hang up on these earphones, I'm going to take Jerry outside and just beat him from here all the way around the block. No, you're not. Because you know what? These guys in the chat room have got me going now. And I'm going to go downstairs and have a BLT. Ooh. That sounds good. And doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does. And just leave out the... The T and the the L, and just fill it up with the B. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a uh, bacon and cheddar cheese sandwich? Oh, that's you name one. it. That is if, so good. If you've asked, oh. I thought you were going to ask me ask me a uh, strange question. Like, did you ever eat one underwater? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Every yeah. one underwater. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Like a platypus. Ooh, wow, that was close. That was that was real close. That was really. All right, mm. back in it. 
Thank you, Ron Mason. What do you got? The Owls Facebook page. That's Upstate Owls and Friends. Yeah, just click on it and hit the little thumb. It's not asking, asking too much, but it's just a way uh, we're going to keep some of our road trips on it. Luke looking to close this door here. Look at this. Look Mike at this roll. I cannot believe that. Oh, he can hit it. I didn't think he could hit it. Got to really thin it. Trying to lock him up. Let didn't, him out. Didn't do it. Let him out and left him a pocket. I would take it that this is a winner side match, right? This is a side match, isn't it? Oh yeah. Okay. We haven't played any B side matches yet. Tomorrow morning they start. Tomorrow right? morning they start. Morning. Yeah, okay. ten o'clock. Okay. Yeah, both these guys will still be alive. Blue cheese or mayo. I like them both, but they don't like me. I don't, like, I don't eat mayo. I eat mustard, but I love. Uh, Wait a minute now. I, I, you, I love. I love uh, you blue make, cheese. You make your tuna with uh, mustard. I wouldn't eat tuna with your mouth. Not even raw. Uh uh You so you don't eat sushi. No. Nope, nope. Don't eat sushi. I don't like fish. Boy, oh boy, you're up in the sticks. Squirrels, right? Squirrels and pigeons. Yeah, we eat squirrels and possum and pigeons. Yeah, yeah. 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 Nothing wrong with a deep-fried porcupine or something. Nothing wrong with that at all. No. Jerry's country. <laughs> yeah, we go out every morning, get a possum or two off the road, <laughs> fry that baby up, you know. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it. Uh -uh. Well, Mr. Sal was about to put this match in his pocket. Mike can't believe it. Mike's a little shell-shocked. Watch, Watch outside the, pocket. This is the role. It's always That's been the role there. Mike needed. That that could wow. cost Salvis the match. Wow. 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 That's amazing. And you know what? Mike did the right thing and stayed in his seat. There is no concessions of two balls, three balls on the table, even at the last rack, because if you do and Zuglin gets wind of it or sees it, you will be forfeited one uh, one game in your next match. Yeah. It carries over, so. Yeah, there's nothing like a carryover penalty, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Life in prison. Twice. All right. Eight, seven. Wow. It's doable, especially since uh, DeShane is breaking. And Mike DeShane's taking a break. He's going to take a break. And I can't blame him after that roll. And with that, we'll be on a standby, folks.
All right, folks. We got both players back in the arena. And let's pick up the rack attack once again and see what's going on here. Yeah. I'm sure there's going to be a little bit of talking about this rack. 8-7. Guy in the chat room is asking who would be the best player to match up with Shane Van Boning in the World Cup of Pool. Well, Mike DeShane's number two in the country, so. Jason Shaw cannot partner with Shane because he's not an American. And Earl will be out of town. I believe he'll be in Germany doing exhibitions or somewhere in Europe. Doing exhibitions. Well, Mike Shane says, let's get it on. Yeah, he says the rack's no good, but I'll break it anyway. Watch the seven. Seven right. ball went. In the opposite side pocket, the opposite corner pocket, the eight ball. Eight ball went, went but the one ball. Tucked half of itself behind the three. So here we go again, playing some hide and seek. behind that nine and instead he rubbed it. Well, Luke's got to be careful now. Luke is never careful. He loves cutting these shots too. Yeah, he does. He can cut. Smart. Ooh. But he hit it too thick. Hit it too hard as well. Oh, that could spell trouble. Four ball is the kicker. The hole, the cue ball there. Yep. Oh, oh, but he missed it. Hit it on the light side. He missed the, the full part of the four is what yeah. I meant, folks. Not that he missed the shot. But he's still okay. He just run up and down the table. One opportunity to close this door on Mike DeShane and send Mike over to the B side, sort of say. Look, look what he's got to do here. The shape on the four is certainly no gimme. Oh, he slow rolled it. Mm. Nice better, touch. He better take care of it this time. Looks like Dan Hewitt's in the chat. Well, how do you know who's who? I mean, these, these are all screen names. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know if he is on his device up there or not. Key shot. Once again, Mike DeShane survives to see another five ball. Wow, Luke's just handing this match over. By all means, he should have been out two games ago. Yeah. <clears throat> well, when you stay a step away from the game for 10 years, a little rust has got to grow around the corners. <laughs> 
Doesn't look like he stepped away at all. The way he's shooting. What do we say about the final match of every day? They all go to Double Hill. Folks, Here we go. Folks, I just want to make you aware that Ustream has separated our chats into three active chats. So if you're uh, getting a little flipped out, uh, it's because of the amount of people we have now chatting. Nine ball for the Hill Hill. Double cheeseburger with a lot of bacon on it. <laughs> there, it there we are, folks. Double Hill. It's a race to one. Does it get any better at the last match? I don't believe so. You know what? Let me throw this up on the screen for Mr. Phil Capel because uh, Phil is doing the right thing. There it is. You can buy those books right here. Is Phil can, here? No, he's not. Okay. He's at home. He did send some messages uh, that he appreciates everything we're trying to do and help him out. Uh, he's a really good guy. Sure is. We're taking that down. I like Jerry Forsyth. The other people that are pretty good, cool people are the people that work on this site right here. And one day they're going to send me a real high res, high, 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 high res. What'd you do? Copy that off the web? Oh, you guys might have sent it. Because we've got that in high res. Thank you. Well, you never asked. Well, next time bring my book with you, too, all right? Look. You must I'm have collected gonna, that. I'm not you gonna, sold it. I'm not going to hear about you that book it. anymore. You sold it. Well, I needed lunch. <laughs> <laughs> what, cheddar cheese. <laughs> and bacon. <laughs> <laughs> One ball falls, and he's got the shot this time on the two. He's got a shot. He's got only really tough shot now is to get shape on the three. Because he's pretty straight on the two. He's got no qualms about taking the longer shot. <coughs> but it doesn't seem like the longer shot on the three is there. You might see Mike DeShane try to fire this ball and just come back right midship between the nine and the five and possibly cut this three into that left-hand side pocket. Because that'll bring him right back around for the four in the bottom right. Boy, any time you make a detailed description like that, you can believe the player is going to do something else. Is that right? Watch. <laughs> he, may, he may do that. <laughs> yeah, I guess he did. Yes, he? he did. <laughs> and that will put him right back on the floor. This is, the, this is right here. To, well, every shot is crucial. The 5-8 is a little bit funny. we got to take a look at that and see if the 5. But that's where Mike's going. He's going to take a look at that 5. Wow. He doesn't have a whole pocket. But he's got most of it. Nice shot. Oh, and and the bonus. That's what he went for. He went for the bonus. That worked out five. very well. Nice shot. Only five balls left in this match. And Mr. Luke is about to puke. He just can't believe that uh, he gave this away two times. Champion by all means. <gasps> what happened? No. DeShane jawed the ball. Wow, I took my eye off it. I was going to get a shot of Luke sitting in the seat because it looked like, you know, his shoulders were just drooping. And now the shoulders are drooping on Mr. DeShane. Wow. Well, he's going to have to take a long shot on the six. I don't think he's got enough angle to stun out to mid-table. You know, a lot of weird things happened in this This match. was a strange match. This was a really strange match. Mm, that could have gone bad. Mike's about to get out of his seat. He's going to say that's enough. No, he won't do that. I don't think you should ever do that. Too many funny things can happen in this game. Wow. Luke Salvas wins this match 9-8 to eight over Mike DeShane. Quite a statement for someone coming out of retirement. Folks, we have really enjoyed bringing you these matches today. We hope you will come back and join us again tomorrow. Absolutely. I'm Jerry Forsyth, and for my good friend Upstate Al Leon. Yes, sir. We're out of here.
Yes, we are, folks, and have a great night. I want to say thank you to Foxy Blue, all our moderators, and everybody that signed in or didn't sign into the chat. Thank you so much uh, for viewing. We hope you enjoyed it. We know uh, sometimes we can get off the beaten path, but we try our best. Sometimes it's hard to hold back you know, getting into certain conversations. We're out of here, folks. Thank you so much. We'll be right